In Doña Lubina, a small village in Kosovo, old ladies prepare young brides, painting their faces in many layers of colors as part of the centuries-old tradition. The bride's face is decorated with three colors, gold, red, and blue. Gold symbolizes wealth and happiness. The lines which extend over the rest of her face symbolize sun rays. The delicate process takes almost two hours. First, the bride's face is covered with a white base. Then circles, which symbolize the circle of life and the sun, are drawn in red, blue, and gold on her cheeks. Red symbolizes fertility and blue protects the bride from the evil eye. The bridal makeup and ceremony are performed to ward off the evil eye and all other evils which the bride may encounter. Some also say it is to make sure all brides look the same so there is no jealousy among them. After the makeup, the bride is dressed by the village people in the traditional handmade costume, which consists of five to six layers. Although this tradition is extraordinary and impressive, not many young Kosovan girls are interested in it. Today, there are only two people who know the technique and continue the tradition. Locals are trying their best to preserve and keep this remarkable tradition unique to Kosovo alive. A cone is placed on her head and covered with a red veil. She is carried on a white horse to the wedding ceremony and is not allowed to speak until she arrives. Geisha are one of the most fascinating and mysterious symbols of Japan. The word geisha, or geiko in Kyoto dialect, means artist or person of the arts. Becoming a geisha is a long and arduous journey. As apprentice geisha, they are known as maiko, or woman of dance. Maiko have a geisha mentor whom they accompany to events and learn the subtleties of the art form. The beauty habits of geisha are as intricate as the craft they spend so many years honing. Perhaps the most striking aspect of their appearance is their vivid white makeup. In the days before electricity, geisha used white makeup, or oshiroi, to enhance their beauty by candlelight. Oshiroi covers the entire face, except for the nape of the neck, which is considered the most seductive part in Japanese culture. Black eyeliner and red pigment around the eyes contrast with the striking white foundation. Their hairstyles require the help of professionals. Maiko sculpts their own hair into elaborate hairstyles once a week and sleep on raised neck pillows to keep the hair intact. Maiko also wears sophisticated hair ornaments for example, long flower-like hairpins during the first year, whereas geisha wear wigs with subdued accessories. Both geisha and maiko paint their lips smaller in bright red, but maiko only paint the lower lip. Geisha always wear kimonos for events. Their kimonos usually have simple patterns in neutral tones, in contrast, Maiko wear brightly colored kimonos with red collars. 
popular geisha and maiko spend their evenings walking from one tea house to the other, playing their instruments and entertaining guests with their songs and dances. Among the most enchanting is the traditional Japanese art of fan dancing. Through slow and gentle motions, the geisha dance away a story in which the fan carries different emotions. In each performance, the geisha's elegant movements and poses, accompanied by shamisan music and delicate fan strokes, come together to create a piece of art. Rio's Carnival is one of the biggest and most colorful celebrations in the world. It literally has the title of the greatest show on earth. Tracing its origins back to the 18th century, when participants of the first edition in 1723 performed waltz or polka and not samba has a combination of influences from European, African, and indigenous traditions that shaped what we know today as Rio's Carnival. The ancient Roman festival of Saturnalia, where slaves were allowed to get dressed and party alongside their masters, was also one of the festivities that structured Rio's Carnival into a festivity of life, music, dance, and cultural diversity. One of the most important aspects of this mega party is makeup. Participants often use bold and bright colors to create amazing designs on their faces and bodies. These looks can range from simple patterns to more complex and detailed ideas that require a great deal of skill and artistry. Glitter, flashy eyeshadows, and bold lips are all fair game. The use of feathers and sequins is almost mandatory. These are often used to create elaborate headdresses and costumes. The dresses are typically brilliant and colorful, with a variety of different textures and materials used to create a unique and eye-catching look. Rio's Carnival is all about samba, while embracing your natural beauty, adding some glam, and having fun.